I don't. Okay, we are live. Sweet. So hi there, everyone. Welcome to the Your Health Made Simple's autoimmune webinar series. Uh, my name is Tracy Gowler. My focus is helping women over 40 improve the way they live with autoimmune. So this is the first in several webinars in the series. And my goal is to introduce my clients and others with autoimmune to additional modalities that can help in your journey to health. And my first guest in the series is Melissa Gaskin. And before we get started, um, I do need to apologize to her because I've been saying her last name with an S and marketing with her last name with an S. So it's just Gaskin. We're cutting that S off the end of her name. <laughs> right? So I apologize for that. So <laughs> Melissa is a doTERRA gold leader. She's also a wife. She's a mom of two littles. She is a dog mom and she's a wellness provider. So she's one of the crazy women, you know, and I appreciate her for that because we're all out here trying to do something to help improve the way that women live, which is great while we still have a life. For sure. <laughs> um, she has a history and education. She's passionately, she passionately shares her knowledge of essential oils. It helps you to incorporate safe, natural solutions into your daily routine and empowers you to achieve your own health goals, hence the reason that she's here. Um, over five years ago, she was introduced to essential oils by a student who is actually struggling with ADHD. And after seeing the great success that they had, she dove into how oils could support her and her family on a deeper level. And she has helped clients combat seasonal threats, chronic fatigue, anxious feelings, imbalanced blood pressure, autoimmune concerns, viral conditions, and much more. And she provides individualized support and ongoing education to ensure that everyone has these empowering tools on hand. And that's awesome. So thank you for being here and welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. So I figured we would just go ahead and dive in and make it a little bit like an interview, if you don't mind. And, and that way, um, yeah, it works good. So tell me about yourself and your business. So you have pretty much covered everything about myself and my business. Um, so I've been with doTERRA for almost five years this summer. So I've learned a lot over the last five years and I'm one as a past educator, I don't just dive into, okay, it works. I'm going to do it. Or, you know, all these placebo claims that people state. Also, I go to science, I look at it. I really want to understand why it's working the way it's working and how it can truly benefit me, not just following what everyone else is telling me. So that is one thing that I think sets me apart from many people that, you know, use essential oils or share essential oils because I do know a little bit about the background, the science and, and the research and can at least guide people to um, find solutions for their, for themselves. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. 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 Um, so there are many essential oil companies out there. What makes doTERRA different, you know? Yes. So this is something that comes up a lot actually, because essential oils I like to call them a fad, really, because there's many companies that have jumped on the bandwagon. There's many different brands that have popped up all over every grocery store you go into. And what people don't realize is that essential oils are not regulated, much like the um, supplement industry. Right. And so the quality of the essential oils that you get at a grocery store is not the same as what doTERRA offers. So doTERRA is definitely set apart by our safety and purity. So we source our essential oils in proper locations where the climate, the pH balance of the soil, the precipitation levels, all are perfect for that crop. So for example, we don't grow pineapple trees in Colorado. There's a reason for that, right? <laughs> right. right? <laughs> um, and so that's why we don't have a greenhouse in you know, Salt Lake City, Utah that has these oils or whatever it is, because the, P, the um, molecular structure of every single one of these oils varies greatly based on how they're grown and where they're grown. Um, and then second, the effectiveness of essential oils. So because the purity is so strong and we don't add fillers or synthetics into our oils, they work much more effectively. And many times they're much more effective than modern medicine. And so for example, I'm gonna do a little demo. If you sure. don't 
So pretend <laughs> I know. my fist right here is a cell. Now every cell is covered by a cell membrane on the outside. Now bacteria is out here floating around, but viruses penetrate the cell and then the cell duplicates, right? And that's why viral issues are such a concern um, across the board. And so essential oils have that ability because they are oil-based, they penetrate the membrane and get into the cell. And so that's what makes them much more effective in many situations than um, other alternatives. Medication. Exactly. And now it's not a one word, you know, fix all, of course, because there is a time for medicine, but it does work. And many times, you know, viral issues, when you go to the doctor, what do they tell you to do, right? Like, go home, rest, drink fluids, right? Right, right. They can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So maybe because a lot of times it's a skin application, you're not relying on your gut to also get it to your cells when you know, you know, only 3% of the population in this country is truly healthy. So 85% of people in this country are struggling with leaky gut. Mm -hmm. And so if you're taking medications, a lot of times it's not even getting this to your cells because it's not functioning properly to absorb what you need. Right. Right which many times just mask the symptoms, gives you side effects, you know? It, right, yeah, that too. So I think through the skin, obviously it's going to go differently into your system, right? right. And get to your cells as well. And also right. through, through breathing. Right, nice. exactly. Okay. Um, and then one other thing that sets us apart is you save a ton of money. It's cost effective because the price of one drop of essential oil varies from about four cents to about 12 cents based on the oil. Yeah. Now, if you're going through, let's say you have allergy problems and you're going through like a Zyrtec D and a Mucinex D because of all the decongestant need, you're spending much more than four cents or 12 cents per application because many right. times people go through packs of both of those in a month. Um, and that's looking closer to like 50 bucks a month, you know? So right. you can have these tools and resources on hand where you are immediately helping your body and your cells to support your, because your body wants to heal itself, but you got to give it the tools to help it heal itself. Right. Right. Yep. So that's awesome. Um, yeah. And of course, you know, I've already done my research, which is why I'm also using doTERRA. Um, so I really appreciate the fact that you've just explained that so people get it. So what, since this is kind of an autoimmune series and my nose is driving me nuts right now and it's really itchy and I'm trying to ignore it and it always happens when I'm on camera. <laughs> of course, right? <laughs> um, what are your top recommended oils for autoimmune support? Yes. So there's many, and I'm going to dive in kind of briefly with each one um, on how exactly you can use it because you can use essential oils three different ways, aromatic, topical, and internal. And so I'm going to dive in a little bit as to why you would use one or the other different ways. So let's talk about energy, the need of energy. Yeah. And Primarily, you would want to use oils aromatically if you're wanting energy support. And the reason for that is when you go to a dentist and you need a root canal, how do they put you under, right? Like they don't give you a shot. They don't give you a pill. Yeah. Exactly. They give you gas. And that's because within about 20 seconds, it's telling your brain and your body to completely relax. It connects to your nervous system and you're, you're relaxed. The same thing with essential oils, when you're inhaling them, in about 20 seconds, it's getting your, lim your limbic system, and in about two minutes, it's all throughout your whole body. Interesting. So, yeah. yeah. I'm it's going to move this way for a minute. I've got to take care of this. Hold on. Okay. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It was driving me nuts. Okay. <laughs> Nobody had to see me scratch my nose. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so... For energy essential oils, using them aromatically, I would start with oils that are citrus primarily. Citrus oils, their molecular structure makeup is for energy. It is for not only uplifting environment, but for energetic response um, at a cellular level. So bergamot is a powerhouse. Citrus mm. bliss is a blend that has many different 
um, citrus oils in there as well as a vanilla. Lemon, of course, is a great energizing, um, uplifting. Wild orange also. And then throwing you for a curveball here because they're not actually citrus, but peppermint, of course, is a pick me up. And then rosemary. And rosemary is also really good for mental health, just for memory, for um, anyone that has had memory concerns as right. well. So like we struggle a lot with brain fog. So rosemary might be great to help support that too. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And I've been looking for a doTERRA oil with vanilla. So citrus bliss, because I love vanilla. Okay. There I go. It's a, it's a favorite of mine. <laughs> yes. So then on to like stress or emotional response. Now this can be used aromatically again but you can also use these topically. So for stress, emotional response, and especially during this time, but yeah. that stress and emotional response has so much impact on your hormones, so much impact on your, your body overall. And so oils for that, I would start with frankincense. That is mm -hmm. the king of oils and that works at a cellular level in your body. So it helps in so many ways. Adaptive is a newer blend, which is really, really good for just pent up tension, anxious feelings, um, just needing to, to chill. Mm -hmm. And then lavender or serenity are great. The serenity is a blend that has lavender in it. Clary sage is also great for calming and then balance and balance helps with hormonal support as well. Oh, so that's cool because when we're in that fight or flight, our hormones are a little jacked, right? So. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Mm. And then next is toxicity. So I wanted to hone in a little bit on how our environment can impact us. And these essential oils can be taken internally as well as topically for toxicity support. Um, can I ask a quick question before we move on to toxicity? So when you said you can use those last four stress aromatically or topically, where are you applying topically? Great question. Yeah. So when applying topically, if I'm wanting to also smell it for aromatic support, I like to do my pulse points right here. I like to okay. do pulse points on your wrist and then also wearing diffuser jewelry, whether it's bracelets, necklaces, etc. Sure. That's always good because it's here around you. I okay. even am known for spraying my hair because I have long <laughs> hair. <laughs> so right. Mixing with water and shaking and then spraying it. Because that also, you're getting the aromatic support through your, sure. you know, it's, it lingers in your hair for a while. Yeah. Good. Okay. Sorry to interrupt, but I thought that no. might be good. Yeah. No, it, yeah. It gives people good ideas. And then of course, diffusing, you can always diffuse any of those in sure. your diffuser. Um, so toxicity, that plays a huge part. I mean, our skin is our largest organ. And so what we're putting on our body, what we're touching in our environment, all impacts us greatly and can impact our hormones even, you know, replicate hormones in our body. So yeah, so many concerns there. And so essential oils to help minimize that toxic load would be cilantro. That's the number one for sure. You apply mm -hmm. it directly over your liver and also the bottoms of your feet nightly. You can cook with it too, which is yeah. fun. So instead of using the spice, you can actually substitute the essential oil and it's very flavorful and, and good, but also a great um, help of releasing toxins. And then grapefruit, lemon, mm. rosemary, peppermint, and lavender mm. are all oils that you can use internally, topically, or aromatically. And they all help, you know, release the toxic buildup within your body. Mm -hmm. Okay. So like, and I think the one thing that I wanted to ask you about, because, you know, we recommend a lot uh, hot water with lemon, to help the detox process. Um, can the lemon oil be used like that rather than purchasing lemons? Definitely, definitely. And just one drop at a time. Now you don't have to have hot water for that to work with um, essential oils because essential oils still are going to target your cells and, and help your body um, because they're oil-based. And so, right. but yes, you can add it to your, your water or even your hot tea. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 So next we have thyroid support and I want to share a good recipe here as well. So for thyroid, frankincense, myrrh, clove, lemongrass, basil, and peppermint are all powerhouses. 
Um, and what I would do with all of those for thyroid is there's a recipe that has three drops of frankincense, three drops of myrrh, two drops of lemongrass, and two of clove in a 10 mil um, oh. roller bottle. And then yeah. you fill the rest with coconut oil and you apply that directly over your thyroid multiple yeah. times a day um, just to help balance your thyroid. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Because I think at some point, a lot of people, as they start to heal, uh, some are able to get away from the medication, but it would still be great to apply that support daily, Definitely. even while on medication. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. 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 And then last but not least, the joint pain and inflammation that many people suffer with as well. And for those issues, you would want to apply topically on location. And so Aroma Touch is a great blend. It has many mints in there. There's spearmint, peppermint. There's Deep Blue, which is another minty blend. Copaiba, which comes from the Amazon. It's a very woody aroma essential oil. And then Helichrysum. And Helichrysum also helps the nerve pain that you get around your inflamed joints or inflamed areas in your body. So that's a one that targets the nervous system. So many times the blends that don't have helichrysum in them, I always say add helichrysum to it because it is an extra powerhouse for that joint pain and that inflammation. So could that be used for things like shingles? The helichrysum? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so that's cool. So stuff like that, because there is people that do get a lot of nerve pain um, with the autoimmune. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. And then I wanted to wrap up with two of my favorite resources. So one is this book. It's the essential oil hormone solution by Dr. Maritza Snyder. It is a really, really good book on resetting with incorporating essential oils into your lifestyle. And it's, it has even challenges in the back, great recipes for whole food diets. Um, it's just, it's a really good um, resource for resetting your hormones. And then for essential oils, because there's so much, I mean, this did like barely touch the surface of all the things that you can talk about with essential oils and you can really dive into all of them as well. So I always recommend having some sort of reference book. Now this is not a doTERRA book because it's a, it has, it's a third party book and it actually has all the research and studies that are um, in the back of it. And that's one of the reasons that I love it as well, is because it's not just what doTERRA says. These are sound right. articles and publications that this is based on. But it has things in, in layman's term, because I, ha I cannot make medical claims, right? Um, right? And so this has those medical claims written out that is just helps everyone really target their specific health needs as well. That's cool. I have a book like that here as well. And I also have the, the hormone solution book and just, I just want to tell everybody that she's not just, you know, blowing smoke. She, it, that book is amazing. So it is. It is. yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you're really looking to get started to help support your system and hormones play a huge role in autoimmune or autoimmune plays a huge role in hormones, I feel uh, this is a great way to learn how to support your body with uh, essential oils for sure. Yeah. Um, okay. So um, other questions that I'd written down here, like how can you support your body with these immune compromising concerns that we're all dealing with? Yeah. And that's a concern I think we're all dealing with right now. Right. Um, whether you have autoimmune or you don't, it's, it's right. definitely on the forefront of our mind. So Things that you teach also, whole food, like, you know, I'm a huge fan of paleo as well. Um, right. Exercise, reducing toxic load, getting quality sleep. Yeah. Some other things that I think are so important is like a self-care routine as well. And I can't stress enough, like asking yourself daily, what can I control? And then right. using affirmations and affirmations to also help yourself. And then incorporating essential oils into all of those lifestyle um, choices that we have um, from diet to you know exercise and to sleep using essential oils in each part and creating your own um, routines for yourself is super powerful but as far as doTERRA oil specifically i'm going to focus there's so many <laughs> um, that are antivirals but i'm going to focus on three of my top favorites 
One of them most people have heard of, which is On Guard. And it's a blend that smells like, you know, cinnamon and clove. And why it's such a powerful essential oil people are talking about and why like some of the products right now are limited quantity or sold out at the moment is because many of the oils that are included in that blend have antiviral properties. And so they are like what I demoed earlier of the virus getting in the inside. They're actually penetrating that cell membrane and getting towards the virus um, in your body. So they're powerful for that. And the doTERRA has a full line of on guard stuff from clean and concentrate to capsules to small beadlets, which are about a third of a drop of oil that you take internally. Um, mouthwash, I mean, a multitude of products that, uh, that um, can support our bodies. And then the other two are ones that are not as well known, well known for sure. Arbor Vitae and Melissa essential oil, they're both really powerful antivirals. And I would highly recommend. So Arbor Vitae is one that you can diffuse or use topically. And then Melissa is one you can diffuse, use topically, but also take it internally. And so those are ones that I've even made up a roller myself with many of the power, powerful um, antivirals, oregano and um, tea tree or other common ones. Lemon oil is a common one as well. And even peppermint. And I mixed it all in an old Melissa bottle that I had a several drops left and put a roller top on it and have been using that every single night just for that extra, you know, immune support that, that we all need right now. Do you also use those on your children? I do. Okay. And so, yeah, so doTERRA has a line that's made for kids as well. And so they're pre-diluted with in roller blends and they're much more of the sensitive, like calmer blends. And what I mean by that is clove and cinnamon, peppermint, those are considered hot oils. And so if you put them on your skin, they can, you know, irritate your skin if you don't use fractionated coconut oil, unscented lotion, et cetera. And so many of those hotter oils are not in the kids' rollers. And both of my kids, I have a two-year-old and a, or, and a almost five-year-old, and they both have their own little sets of rollers that they use in their room. <laughs> yeah. That's so cute. Yep. Um, so maybe another question while, you, while you're talking about that that I just thought of. Mm -hmm. So like me personally, I use a lot of my oils full strength, but I can just mm -hmm. tolerate it. But I think when people have autoimmune, that's always not the best approach right away. Right. Yeah. So how would you suggest they start using the oils if they wanted to start? Definitely. So I always recommend starting in an area and putting the oil just on your skin, seeing what happens, because it is something new. It's like trying to make it for the first time. You don't know how it's going to respond, right? or if it's going to irritate your skin, right? And so it's trying something new and almost doing like a patch test in an area. And then I always recommend using fractionated coconut oil, which is a medium chain tri triglyceride. So what that does is it adds like a barrier so that less is evaporating off your skin and you're actually absorbing more of the essential oil. Oh, yeah. So I just want to say, guys, you can buy that at Whole Foods or mm -hmm. natural grocers or uh, and it's just a liquid coconut oil. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, okay. So that's how you would do it. And probably only trying one oil at a time to start. Right. right. And you then know, take into consideration, we've had beautiful sunny days. There are some oils that are photosensitive. And so you don't want to put on a citrus oil and that's primarily citrus. You don't want to put on a citrus oil and then be out in the sun for 12 hours. Um, it will make you burn <laughs> and not be pleasant. <laughs> oh, that's fascinating. So if you just stuck a little bit here, you might have this little round circle yeah. burn spot. That would be, that would be fabulous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, that's awesome. Um, did you have any more suggestions along those lines or? Well, I mean, there's a ton of antiviral. I mentioned yeah. lemon, but there's eucalyptus, there's lime, um, tea tree, oregano, peppermint, I mean, even ones oh like goodness. myrrh, there's, there's a lot. And actually in many of the reference books, it'll list the oils by property so that okay. you know exactly which ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So um, there's so much to learn with oils. Like when you buy those books, they're like this thick. Right. And <laughs> <laughs> right. It's incredible the amount of information. And I think the history of oils is that 
human civilization, especially in the eastern side of the globe, have been using oils for thousands of years, right? Right. Yeah. And it's also how modern medicine was formed. Many of the chemicals that have been created, they're replicating natural constituents that are in essential oils. So they've created a synthetic form of it um, for, you know, for, in our pharmaceuticals. Yeah. Damn it. No. I know. Well, it's a little, it's okay. I mean, there's things that we can say and things that we can't say, but I have a lot of thoughts up here that I wish I could say. Oh, totally. <laughs> right. Um, so what services do you provide and what is the best way for them to contact you? Yes. So I yeah. teach a lot of essential oil classes. Um, there's, I think I have like eight or nine scheduled upcoming this month that are all held on zoom. So there's several opportunities to get access to those, send me an email. I also have a public Facebook group that is called Zen with oils, public education, and anyone has access or can join that. And I advertise upcoming classes and just, you know, regular education in that as well. But for contact, send me an email or phone number. Um, those are the best ways to contact me. My email is zenwithoils at gmail.com. Yeah. I'm going to throw this up really quick. I'm going to share my screen because Melissa has so generously created um, this for us, for all of the people that are watching this. Um, and so this, this, this recording will be out on my uh, YouTube channel. It'll be loaded into my six month program as a, as a recording that people can see. And we'll, I'm gonna get this out onto Facebook here pretty quick. But if you're watching this and you do want to know how to contact Melissa, she's got her information here on this PDF that she was willing to share with anybody that's interested that's watching this about how to use some of these oils. Um, and the, some of the oils that she was talking about here. So I think it would be great um, if, if you do want this, you can also contact me at clientcare at yourhealthmadesimple.com. And again, that's clientcare at yourhealthmadesimple.com. And just let me know you'd like this PDF and I'm happy to get it out there to you. Um, so, yeah. Um, so with, with, with that, um, this has been terrific. I is so, and, and actually I, she's got a class this Saturday, guys. I believe it's Saturday, right? Next, next Saturday. Yeah. Next Saturday. Yeah. Okay. A week yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm going to be on that because the more that I can learn about this, the better I've been using oils for probably about a year and a half right now, but there is so much to learn my goal is not to be an expert in oils, which is why she's one of my go-to girls. And I think it's really important to have those people in your world. And like she said, doTERRA is up there at the top of the best oils in the world. And, you know, they're so affordable. Like so, fun. what? yeah. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to chat about with regards to oils? You know, I, I think that's it. I just feel most people under, uh, underestimate the power of oils oh and once people start using them and they have these aha moments, they're like, Oh wow. You know? And I, I think, right. um, I think that's just so important for people to know is give it a try because it can really change your, your, you know, health needs. Right. Um, I saw something that came in from doTERRA the other day and they'd given a recipe for an allergy bomb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I can't tell you, like my allergies used to be so significant that I was giving myself a shot in each leg every week, back when they allowed you to do that. And when I went for my allergy testing, it was crazy, all the things that I was allergic to. But then I decided it was time to change my world. And lo and behold, guess what? The allergies aren't so bad anymore. And I might get a weird little headache in the spring. But this allergy bomb, I think they had, they said it was lemon, peppermint, and um, lavender uh -huh. to stick in a roller bottle. And oh man, because I can tell you, as soon as I just wipe peppermint oil on my forehead, that's it. The headaches are gone. So yeah. my goal right now is to get my, make myself an allergy 
uh, bomb uh, roller bottle. Yeah. You can make a shot in a shot glass with a little bit of water and a drop of each and okay. swig it. Yeah. I'll do that too, because I think that'll get in there a little better. And, you know, just sticking a little bit of peppermint oil under your no nose will help to relieve the headaches also. Right. right. Yeah. Right. Which is great. And ener energize you. Oof. Right. Exactly. It's an antiviral. There you go. Like, well, right. <laughs> I know. It's amazing. And I do. I stick a little bit here every morning. Yeah. It's, you know, it smells good. good too. And that's the thing about oils is they're so versatile also. Like you have peppermint, but it's not just, I mean, it's a natural expectorant, which is why it works so well for, for allergies. Um, yeah. But great for headaches, great for inflammation. I mean, it's, it's right. such a versatile oil, even and I, peppermint brownies. I mean, you can literally... Right. And I read that if you rub it on either side of your necks, any of the mints, it helps the flow of blood through the veins to your brain. Right, right. Yeah. Um, so I do that a little bit every morning and I go back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Between yep. peppermint and wintergreen, I think. Yeah. Something. Yeah. So it's amazing what you can do just to help support the health in your body. Anyway. That's been a great amount of information that you've shared. And I appreciate this so much. Yes, of course. Um, Thank you for having me. Yeah. And the, the information that you shared, and I do love my oils and I absolutely believe in their ability to support health. And I have my diffuser going several times a day um, in my office and at night when I'm sleeping. And I've been using them religiously during this crazy virus pandemic just to keep my system strong and healthy. And I know that you're doing that as well. So um, I just want to say thanks so much for being here again. It's always a pleasure. And to everyone that's out there watching to my pack, there will be more webinars coming. And I'm lining up some wonderful people to come and talk on mindset, chiropractic alignment, TRE, which is trauma and tension release exercise. And hopefully, I'm going to try to get the guru of meditation, man, he's awesome. And, uh, and somebody in here to talk about trauma and how that affects our health. Um, but I'll keep you posted on the dates for the next, what's next coming up next in the series. And, and I'll be adding those to those events on my website as well. So thanks a lot for joining and we really appreciate you being here. Hope it was worth it. And we'll talk with you soon. Thanks so much. Thank you.